to my channel for Herpmas Day 2. Today we're going to be talking about some uh, reptile keeper stocking stuffer ideas. So if you have a reptile keeper in your family and need some stocking stuffer ideas, this video is for you. My last video, so Herpmas Day 1, was a reptile keeper gift guide. So if you're looking for actual gift items, not just stocking stuffers, I recommend watching that video. All these videos will be in a Herpmas 2020 playlist. I also have all of my Herpmas 2019 and Zoomas, so the very first ever Vlogmas that I did on YouTube. They all have their own playlist, so if you go to my playlist on my channel, you'll be able to watch all my Christmas videos ever. They're all grouped together. So this will have its own playlist. So if you come in and start watching videos late, you can always go to the playlist to watch every single one of them. So without further ado, let's jump into the stocking stuffer ideas. So I have a whole bunch of stuff next to me and I'm just going to kind of go through and show you guys and this is all smaller stuff that can fit right into a stocking. So idea number one is a little bottle of Rep to Save water conditioner. So this stuff is super helpful. I know a lot of keepers use it. You just put a couple drops in your water and your water is safe. For your reptiles to drink so it's nice and tiny so it fits perfectly right in a stocking so the next idea is a pair of tongs this is something that every reptile keeper has but every reptile keeper can use more of constantly losing them i'm always losing mine before i had my tongue jar so these are perfect for a little stocking stuffer and stuff like this your basic reptile supplies can be found right on amazon and i do have my 2020 reptile keeper gift guide for amazon that I'll link in the description below that will have gifts and the stocking stuff for things I mentioned that you can buy on Amazon. And that Amazon link will be an associate link, meaning that if you per make a purchase while using that link, I do get a small commission. So that's all that means. But anyway, all of that, all these ideas will be in one Amazon list for you guys to look at if you need some gift ideas or stocking stuff for ideas. So next up is this humidity meter. So some of these things are re repeats from my gift guide videos, like this was on my gift guide video, but it's also small, so it could fit in a stocking really easily. And basically it's like a temperature gun that you point the laser at a spot and it tells you the temperature. Except this tells you humidity. This particular one also tells you temperature as well, but it doesn't have like the laser pointer, it's just the, um, like the air. So I just turn it on and I set it in my enclosure and then I check back a couple minutes later to see what the humidity is. So super nifty, super handy, highly recommend because this is something I feel like a lot of keepers don't have but they really should. Okay, so next, if you know that they have a gecko of some sort that eats powdered food, you can get them gecko food cups. So this one is just a little rubber one. It's like a little bottle cap and you put the food right inside. Super cute. Mine came from K&A Critters. And when you're done and you want to clean it, all you have to do is let it dry and then pop it inside out and the food comes right out, clean it down, and you can reuse it. So no plastic food cups that have to get thrown away. You're saving the planet one little silicone cup at a time. The other option are these biodegradable cups. So you still throw them away after reuse, but they are biodegradable so they will break down. So they're a lot better than the plastic cups. So kind of going off of that is powdered food. So this is a really big bag of Pangea, but they do come in smaller bags. So you can get a small bag of Pangea or a small container of Rapashi and put that in a stocking so you have crusted gecko food. Next up is terrarium decor. So any sort of fake plants. For example, I have this little succulent here that I bought right at, I think Michael's or Joanne's maybe super tiny, fits right into a stocking, and looks super cute in an enclosure. Okay, next up is a real hot commodity in 2020, and that is hand sanitizer. So really, you should be washing your hands in between handling different animals. So if your reptile keeper has lots of different animals, giving them a little bottle of hand sanitizer they can keep in the reptile room is perfect. So that when they're handling animals, they can just quickly sanitize in between that way they're not transferring anything from one animal to the next and each animal gets a clean handling experience so next up is jewelry and i have just a couple little examples to show so i've got these little tiny chameleon earrings i don't know if you guys can see them there we go okay maybe see if i can do this 
there we go. So these little tiny chameleon earrings came right from Etsy. So, so cute and adorable and nice and tiny so they fit right into a stocking. Going off of jewelry, I have this pendant that I could put right on a chain for a necklace and this is a shed from a black mamba. So very exotic. Not something most people have as a pet because they are venomous. So it came from a zoo actually um, and made by a zookeeper. So she has an Etsy shop and I linked that below because next is also from her shop. And those are magnets. So there's lots of cool things you can buy um, with, with snake sheds. So this particular keeper, she takes sheds from the facility she works at and turns them into different things like jewelry and magnets. So I've got a couple of different snake heads here that I got to use for programs just to show off. I don't know if you can see from the reflection. And then I did just get these little square magnets. And most of them are venomous snakes, the ones that you would really only see in a zoo. So, pretty cool. Her shop name is Rooted Renderings, and so that will be in the link below. So if you want to check out her stuff, look for Rooted, Rooted Renderings in the description. Okay, next up, just another tiny little thing, and that is pins. So I've got my little pin thing here. Obviously, there's not much on it yet, but I do have mostly reptile pins. So if we look closely, I've got an iguana there, a leopard gecko over here, a San Fran garter up here, and just a bunch of other stuff. I have a little, little tiny medusa up here. Super cute. Um, so a lot of these just came from Etsy. So you can literally just search like reptile pins on Etsy and find a whole bunch. And then you're supporting an artist as well if you shop through Etsy. And speaking of Etsy, I do have little tiny goodies in my Etsy shop, like supplement jars. So this is just a little bee pollen jar. I did show this in my um, gift guide video, so day one. But just because it is so tiny, it's like probably the smallest thing in my shop, I thought I'd just show it again. And then fun things like stickers and car decals. You can find those in my shop, all over Etsy, Redbubble, tons of options. And the last thing for this video is UVB. So if your keeper has UVB tubes like the Arcadia or ZooMed Reptisun, these fit nicely into a stocking. So this is a 20, 22 inch um, UVB. And I tested this in my stocking, it does fit. It actually pretty much fit the whole way in. So you can fit tubes, UVB tubes, which are like the best UVB in my opinion, into stockings. and that will save them some money as well because they're not like horribly expensive, but they're not the most fun thing to buy. So if you gift a UVB, you're awesome. Okay, and those are some stocking stuffer ideas. So not a very long video, just kind of short, sweet, simple, to the point, just to give you some little bonus ideas for a stocking for your reptile keeper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have more stocking stuff or ideas, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more Hurt Miss videos because I have a whole bunch more coming. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for Hurt Miss Day 3.